guys, we're here for the second edition of the LG PSN Game of the Week. Uh, we missed last week, some things came up, uh, but we're back now, so I'm here with my brother, Fal Caliber. How you doing? Not too bad, how you doing? Um, pretty good. Ready for some... LGPSN action, I guess. Yeah, it's an interesting game. I'm really hyped for it. Yeah, so we got uh, the Buffalo Sabres and the Washington Capitals taking each other on. Uh, so first we'll start for the visiting team, their lineup. Uh, it's going to be Hobson, 56, on the left wing. Uh, Twigs on center. Twisted, 78, right wing. Uh, it's going to be primary flash, uh, left D, and enjoy the show, right D. And between the pipes, it's B mid 21 21. Uh, for the Capitals, we got Nate D, 29 on left wing. Uh, gassy ass at center. Uh, untouchable is a right winger, and then we got Schroyer, left D, and explicit right D. Between the pipes is X, high life. Um, I don't know, a few things to note, I guess, would be uh, the Sabres have a 40-point score. Uh, that's Twigs at center, 16 games, he's got 40 points. Um, on the other side, with 15 games played apiece, uh, the Capitals have two players at 31 points. Um, so that'll be, could be an offensive game. Yeah, definitely going to see some very high caliber action. Especially in that trade for Enjoy the Show. That was a good move for them. Yeah, they, uh... I believe he's a GM now too, so uh, That's good move for them. I guess probably a better situation for him than it was in Detroit. Yeah, especially. Yeah. I'm kinda like the goaltending thing here. You know, they just got their starting goaltender here, high life, four twenty. It's yeah. interesting for Washington. It seems kinda new only has he has three wins, one yeah. loss. I think what's really uh, sticks out is the defense for both teams. Uh, both both sides have really good defense. Yeah, they do. Um, you know, three out of the four defensemen in this game are on fire. I guess the uh, is what the system, the site calls it. Um, the the Sabers D for a plus 52 rating and the Sabres or sorry the Capitals are uh, plus 29 uh, so yeah it could could really go either way I think the Sabres are kind of the favorite coming in just because of this, the way the standings look but I definitely think the um, Capitals can Surprise people. Gonna be a lot of passes, people, a lot of goals probably scored. We're gonna have the top team in the East, the Buffalo Sabres. So it should be a good game. Washington's not gonna come with this one without nothing but a crazy fight, I assume, and it's gonna be quite a show for you guys to watch. Happy to have you here with us tonight. That's for sure. Yeah, what I really like here is the lineups here. If you look at the offense breakdown, you got Twigs, Hopson, 56, and Twits hit 78. Over on the Sabres, they have the record's only 26, 6 and 1. You know, 33 games played together, 82 points. 
just wild together. You look over on the Washington Capitals side, you have Gassias on the center, Dude. Nate D, 29, left wing, untouchable right wing. These guys also really good, 29, 15, 1. 45 games played, 86 points. So, you kind of look at it, Capitals still over have 10 games played in them. And they have less, and they're only having around three less points than them. So it's kind of interesting. So hopefully, maybe in this game, kind of see which is the better line right now for tonight. Who's going to come out and really play harder than the other, or who either team wants it more. It's going to be interesting. Two great lines. Yeah, and I think um, just, you know, if you take, you know, you take one quick look at the Sabres lineup and you see all this red, uh, it's just you know, seven you know almost ninety percent of the roster is uh, you know, quote unquote on fire, um, all lit up in red. So I mean, looks like they're coming in hot in this one. Hopefully, but you never know. I've been fooled many times. So <laughs> I think maybe. It's going to be a tough game. It should definitely have to be both top lineups here this game. So maybe not for Buffalo, maybe so for Washington, maybe not. But either way, we're going to have quite a game for fans to watch. And hopefully people like it. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Uh, get... Starting home will be Washington, and so Buffalo is visiting them. Our stream provider is not live yet. Hope that changes soon. Yeah. And um, if you guys could see also on the website, if you guys want to go look at the starting lineups, you can also uh, see week two head to head. It was a close game, but uh, they kind of got away with the Buffalo one. We beat the Washington Capitals for one. And later on, week four. Uh, not too long ago. Uh, they ended up getting them uh, quite a bit down with 7 nothing Buffalo over Washington. So maybe Washington wants to get back over that beat down and maybe they want to come back strong and maybe try to take them out. Tonight. Yeah, I think, um, you know, especially after after that 7 nothing loss to the Sabres in week four, uh, the Capitals are going to want to bounce back and kind of a little bit of revenge definitely um, prove that you know that wasn't maybe the kind of team they are and that I don't know just to kind of try to erase that huge loss definitely um, yeah just restrict their game I think they're Probably meant after after they saw that loss and felt it, they probably you know reset their game straight back to the basics and just work their way back to uh, continue to see this game and whatever happens tonight, we'll we'll have to see how it goes. Yep. Um, just a little uh, update. Um, this game is going to start a little bit late. Um. Lefty and left wing for the Capitals are um, in um, games in another league right now, just finishing up. So I, I guess that explains why their um, stream is not live yet. So pretty much, you still got a few minutes with our boring selves, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. So far, the season's been going good. You know, there's been interesting things happening, bans, you know, fines and stuff. But um, all in all, it's been very interesting. Yeah, some good a lot teams. of uh, a lot of management shakeups. Yeah. Which I guess you mean it's not unexpected with the the first season of LGPSN working out the kinks and stuff. Yeah, it's always gonna happen. But there's been a lot of big names, you know. Yeah. Interesting about it. been gained ownership. Um, just looking at the power rankings, uh, 
updated since last week. Buffalo was second. They went 8-1 and one last week. Um, and the Capitals are not far behind at 7 uh, in the whole league. Uh, they were 5-1-1 one one was their record. Um, so they had a pretty good week last week. They were actually uh, first in goaltending in the whole league, followed by the Sabres in second place. Uh, Sabres are fourth in offense and second in defense. So, I mean, really, you know, you take away that 7 nothing loss, and we should have a pretty good game on our hands. Definitely. All right, I think they just got their game simple and get it low and kind of work it around, see what they can do. If they see uh, an opening or see something that they like to go to a lot, just kind of block off that and block off especially their passing lanes because they have uh, some guys that can really feed some really nice tape to tape passes and get that puck in the net very quickly. Yep. All right, so our stream is live now. Um, so you can see that on your screen now, ladies and gentlemen, and this game will get underway soon. You know what I found funny, Gally? A lot of teams that do really well in training camp are dominating the league right now. You know, there's some teams that have been really not that great and you weren't expecting. And I guess it just kind of proves to show that sometimes training camps, or not sorry, not training camps, sorry, preseason, you know what I'm saying, but preseason games don't really mean sometimes anything. You know, just building a team and you know, tweaking it, you know. So it's kind of interesting seeing how some teams were like, you know, didn't have a really great record at all. And, uh, you know, coming out now this season afterwards and, you know, doing really well. So, it's nice to see. Yeah, for sure. I think there's always, you know, just before the season even starts when it's just kind of in preseason. And, there, you know, everyone's has their judgments based off of that. Just by, you know, just looking at the rosters and seeing the names. But when it comes down to it, um, you know, when the season starts, it's because a certain team has these bunch of big names or something. Um, you know, it doesn't mean they're going to come out and perform in the regular season. So I think we've seen that at a few different teams. You know, teams thought they had all these big guys. You know, they're ready to go all the way and then you know there's times where their uh, scenarios where their, their manager just um, you know I don't know the full stories right but you see a lot of management changes and it was on teams who were supposed to be really good um, but you know just haven't lived up to the expectations yet I guess yeah, and it comes, you know. I guess you're going to really get to see uh, what, what is a true team coming weeks, you know. Season's starting to crack down. Playoffs are going to start, you know, playoffs coming up. Yeah. And now's the time where you're going to start seeing teams that are going to be yeah. stepping up and teams that are going to be trying extra hard for the win and just trying so hard to hopefully get a playoff spot, clinching. Yeah, the game's underway now. Um... Capitals with the puck. And Buffalo's going to get it back in their own zone. Uh, still in the Buffalo zone, but the Capitals have the puck back. And getting a solid amount of pressure so far, working it around. The defense, he shoots. It's a good save there by <laughs> Beamage. Sabres get it now. They're gonna go back the other way. Try to create their own. Ooh, almost slipped behind the defenseman there. Back and forth so far.
Capitals defense doing a good job so far of cutting off those passes, trying to get the guy going back door. Another opportunity in close for the Capitals, but Beam is uh, keeping the puck out so far. Intercepts the one time there. Odd angle, uh, auto one timer shot. High life makes a save and covers the puck up. Pretty, um, Pretty even game so far. Back and forth hockey. Yeah, but you can also see, uh, and which I like, is Buffalo's just coming out here already with a four checking and pressure towards Washington already right at the start of the game. Yeah, for sure. I think that, you know. It's hard for a team. So know? far, so far, the Capitals haven't let it get to them. They've been able to. Yeah, they've been playing very good defensively. Right The, say, you know, not the favorite in this game kind of gives the Capitals a little boost too because, um, you know, it's all you know, it's more more so pressure on Buffalo because they're first in the conference um, that they should be beating a team who is eighth in the conference, but you know, in leagues like this, there's not too yeah, much of a margin between teams. Like, there's been times, many many times. Uh, You've seen the big change, and you've seen the unexpected. Yeah, I mean, seen you see that at times in, in, you know, the real, uh, real life NHL, I guess, where you know there's there can be a gap between the level of play between a first place team, the Comrades, and an eighth place team. Mm -hmm. But but in these leagues, you know, any team can win on any night, really. For the, for the most part, I guess. I think it's really who comes out with the uh, bigger mental state and who's really willing to uh, give it their all at night. And sometimes, you know, everyone always has an off night or not really at the best state of mind. I think it's who's really ready to rumble and get right at it and do anything possible just to get that win. I think that's what Buffalo has done a lot this season, almost every game. You know, they start off with the four tracking a lot, you know, give them an attacking room, but don't get wrong, Washington's get a doing chance, a good job. Well, they're getting close. good shots on it. And they're playing very defensive against, you know, Buffalo. Capitals Still are really, uh, you know, forcing uh, B Midge to make some saves here for the Sabres early. Sabres getting their own chance, but the Capitals go back the other way. Penalty call. Delayed on. The Sabres end of the first period and there's no score um, and Cowboys are going to get a power play opportunity their first of the game when, they, when the second period starts so this will be their chance to finally break the ice what do you uh, what do you, what'd you think of that first period I think it was great you know we had two teams going right at it can go solid end to end, and uh, defensively has been amazing. Goals have been making great saves. Nothing really you get asked for. That was a pretty solid first period, I must say. Yeah, it was uh, pretty even. Shots were three, three. Uh, Capitals got the slight edge by about a minute and forty-five seconds on time attack. Other than that, everything was pretty much even. You can tell it's been back and forth because there's only been four face-offs in this game. Capitals won three of them, but. You see how it's kind of go back and forth up the ice, and uh, not too many whistles. Thirty seconds in the power play for the Capitals. No 
real pressure so far. We're coming back up to ice now. Oh, Saber steal it. Break away. Break away for the Sabres. Oh, trips him on the breakaway. And it's going to be a penalty shot. I don't think, I think this is the first penalty shot we've had on the LG PSN game of the week. Making history. Oh, he beat the goalie, but he shot it wide. It's supposed, I guess it was. Wow. Missed opportunity for the Sabres, eh? Nothing. Feels any worse. One experience than beating the goaltender and have the wide open net. Yeah. And you hit that post. That's the worst feeling in the world. It would have been better if you hit the board. When you hit that post, uh, to kill it. sucks when you had the whole net open but you still managed to hit the post yeah but I mean sometimes to that break away that, that you know penalty shot you're all by yourself um that kind of you know mess kind of hard on a player sometimes especially the goaltender you know it must have been a lot of stress on him at first having a penalty shot against the you know, best saves. team in Eastern like Conference that. right now Maybe the best, one of the best teams definitely in the league. Oh, when he scores, gassy ass. With the goal, he opens a scoring. Capitals are on the board first. What a goal. I think, uh, you know, that was just based off all the pressure this, the uh, Capitals have been getting, the chances. Oh, definitely, but they they worked that outside, the way they broke out into that zone, you could see. And yeah. You got to see kind of building up together as one. Well. Yeah, I think you definitely, um, you know, you saw that coming. It was just a matter of time before they got a puck pass, beamage. Yeah. And, of course, it was the goal wraparound. And kind of squeak through. This game is very interesting. As we said, Capitals up the lead so far. Never know what can happen. Midway through the second period now. Just about 11 minutes and 30 seconds, I guess. I personally think if the Capitals say their game, you know, if they're very defensive, they can play with anyone. You know, I think that's in general with any team. They can play strong defensively, block off the passing lanes and shots sometimes. You can play with anyone in the league. Oh, yeah, just a matter of working like, the offense and executing you know, it just at the same time. Who's, who's in the group that night and who's not. And, you know, sometimes even EA has a little bit to do with it, but. Any yeah. teams can win any night. Especially like with these glitch penalties. They're very strange. Yeah, I've seen a lot of that. Um, especially with tripping, where uh, I actually saw a close up video you know, around when the game first came out where uh, the guy poke checked or whatever. Um, completely missed the guy's skates. At, like, didn't even touch him at all. Then it, then the game, like it glitched his stick back and like forced it forced him to poke the guy in the foot and tripped him <laughs> and got a penalty. I was watching one game over a stream and uh, <laughs> skating around and there was a defenseman on his left and that's in the middle and like he was on the right side of the defenseman closer to him and he dived and the defensive all the way in the corner just randomly tripped. It was really <laughs> strange. It's falling his knees. There's some other weird ones where you, know, you get called for sl excuse me for slashing or tripping when you you go to body check the guy. And yeah, there's been one thing no, though. You kind of scratch your head a little bit, and then you remember that the game is built by EA Sports, so you kind of <laughs> yeah. Sometimes this is the cause of it. I wish they'd get a little more updates though on certain things. You know, some of these glitches cause that. You know, that little high stick the air and get the high stick call when you're, you know, very far away from him. Yeah. I've won that trophy many times. 
I get tired of it. And Washington's period this is honestly has been Washington's period so far. I think uh, you know Buffalo's taking a step back now. After that first goal they got scored on by them. And uh Washington's trying to put more four checking on them now. Oh that was close. Nate poked it away and just about went in, bounced off the pads uh up image. But I mean, it's not like the the Sabers haven't had any chances. They've had a couple, um, and the ones they've had have been pretty solid. But um, yeah. this has definitely been good. Washington's period, though. Washington's been, you know, pretty pretty good at both ends of the ice. Yeah. As far as they'll give up, the only changes they've really given up were basically one and dones, where uh, you know they got a chance close to the net. The Sabers did, and then. Uh, the Capitals would kind of just take the park back and head back the other way. And there you see again, Sabres get it deep in the, the zone, but Capitals just take the puck back and they're going back the other way. Second period ends flying right through this game. It's been crazy. Pretty much the same story as the, the first period, but I think that it was more so, I guess you could say it's a little bit different, where the, the Capitals, you know, wasn't as back and forth and even. The Capitals kind of had more of the more of the pressure, more of the yeah. momentum. But I, think I think this period, it was turned around quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. the first goal. Sorry to see Buffalo, so you want the pressure on them. So, it'll be interesting in their period, maybe we'll see uh, the tiger who wants pressure and who comes out there stronger. Interesting. That should be interesting. Third period, it's only a one goal game, so a lot, a lot can happen. Yeah. All right. Breakout passes by the Capitals too. Kind of a tic-tac-toe to get out of the zone and then they're gone. Nate almost stole it there, but Sabres keep it and in, into the offensive zone now. Oh man, spoke too soon. Capitals back the other way. Nate takes it and fires it on net. Sabres pick up the rebound. Ooh, that was close. Almost, almost turned over in their own zone. The Sabres did. Looking around. Oh. Tried to get a shot off, but. Oh, a little move at the blue line puts him offside. And then offside again, right off the right off the face off. So far, yeah. Both teams we, we, knew, we knew it was going to be a close game from the beginning, and I think that it's been exactly that. Yeah. Defense has been solid. Definitely. The defense has The 
hasn't been easy for either team to score goals. The Sabres got one, and they've been able to lock it down to kind of, or no, the, sorry, the Capitals. Uh, they've been able to kind of lock it down and, you know, keep their net empty so far. Sabres going to come in now on the offense, try to get something going. get the puck back. They're going to try to break it out again. Untouchable. Their way. Oh, tries the backhand uh, spin move. B. Mitch make the saves though. Make it low. Makes the saves. So. Slow shot. Cassias picked it up and say Capitals are back the other way again. But the Sabres uh, pretty quick to steal the puck back. It's really become back and forth now. The Sabres gonna get some more pressure. And High Life's gonna cover that up. Kind of loose puck in the crease there. Sabres win the draw in the offensive zone, get it, ooh, that was close. One opportunity and back the other way, just like I said earlier. Capitals are keeping them out of the, Nate with a chance. Oh, missed the pass across. Nate again with the puck getting close. Capitals are going to work it around now. Oh, and throws it right to the Sabres player, back the other way. Sabres are pulling their goal, they're going for it. Oh, oh, what a save by Highlight, 29 seconds. The goalie was pulled momentarily. That was, uh, I thought maybe the Sabres were gonna tie it right there, but Highlight made the save. You can see um, how well the Capitals defense has been by just you know, their highlights only face 12 shots so far, and uh, I mean, done. Oh wow, 10 Sabres score with 10.9 seconds left. There you have it, it's tied. Looks like we're gonna be probably going to overtime, I'd say. Some people lost me, cool. Off. Looks like that was uh, twisted with the goal, and Sabres are just gonna hold the puck, and we're gonna go to overtime. Well, this game, uh, you know, as if it wasn't close enough, it's tied up. We're going to overtime. Uh, what do you think is going to be the key to victory for each of these teams in overtime? Well, shots, pressure, smart passes, and strong defense. That's going to be the key to the victory. I think the scores are going to have to settle. The defense are going to have to watch their wraps because a lot of teams, you know, sometimes they're going to be for an easy win. I personally find the wraps that but. And those are just going to have to shine their defense and really communicate what each other what they want to do. Other than you, lost pressure between players and they want to finish it. 
being kind of sulky and all that, and not watching Wyoming, so we'll have to see. Yeah, I think uh, my biggest thing is that, you know, it's going to be whoever the team's going to win this is going to be the one who takes advantage of the opportunities they get because I don't think, you know, it's been a defensive game so far. Both teams' defense have been playing well. And, uh, you know, not going to get many chances. So when they do get chances, it's going to be whoever takes advantage of them. Capitals are going to go the other way. Oh, big hit on untouchable there. He, did, he wasn't very untouchable there. Yeah, so. It was pretty cheesy, but I had to say that. <laughs> Nate blocks a shot back the other way. Oh, bounces off untouchable skate. Trip. And that's... Mm -hmm. Not a good penalty to take for the Sabres. Uh, so the Capitals are going to go to the power play, and they're going to look to win this one. Uh, they lose a draw in the, in the offensive zone, though. Sabres are, Sabres are going to try to maybe carry it, just go for the win. Oh, that might cost them here. Oh, what a save by Beamage. Wow. Snagged her off the goal line. Nate was looking to uh, end the game there. To the defense. Nate's got the puck now. It's going to go to explosive for the one timer, but it's blocked. Gassy eyes with the puck now. He loses it. Nate steals it. Got a chance. Oh, and stolen back by the Sabres. Good defense but so far by the Sabres on his penalty kill. 25 seconds left. Chance for the Sabres. And Gas, yes, comes back to steal the puck. Oh, that's going to be icing as he misses the pass. Sabres are going to try to get their own opportunity here now. And the shot's blocked. Troyer's going to take this opportunity to rest the puck up a little bit. Capitals. And they lose the puck again. Oh, good save by highlight. Another good save. Capitals brought the puck back the other way. Intercepted. There you go, wow. It's over. What a goal. Capitals win the game. They, uh, they, I think they really deserve this one. And their mascot slap shots coming out in the ice to celebrate with them. <laughs> uh, they deserve it 100%. There you go. Saw about a leak, a little drop there. Completely fit the defensive. Got some replays here. Nice deep by Nate. Over to I, Untouchable, I believe, uh, for the goal. So uh, the Capitals are going to win this one. They're going to avenge that seven nothing loss back in Week Four. Uh, this is the last meeting between these two teams as well um, until maybe a possible playoff match because uh, Buffalo's first place right now and the Sabres are eighth. So that's I mean, if the playoffs start today, they'd be playing each other, right? So. Um, yeah, you think <laughs> Buffalo really want to give it to them after this, uh, this strong loss against them? 
I think Buffalo uh, game. You know, I think that they they didn't play horrible at all. Really, they, they had a good game. Um, I think it. I think the Capitals just took 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 better uh, advantage of their chances they were given. Um, you know, even though they were, you know, both teams didn't have very many chances, but the ones they had were were good for the most part and took advantage of them. Uh, so any uh, thoughts before we hop off the air for another week? No, we'll just came for next week's games. If we, uh, let's see if that next uh, lineup and uh, stay tuned, guys. Leadgame.com. Follow me on Twitter. I'll be in challenge. I'll be at the same. Um, I'll go in some good games and try to pick one that's really solid. It'll be a really close game. I don't know if it's going to be as good as this game this week, but uh, hopefully we can get something happening for you. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I think uh, also, too, I mean, sometimes it's kind of hard for us to know what people are going to want to watch, right? So if people have suggestions for games they'd like to see uh, as the game of the week, I mean, feel free to send one of us a message um, because it helps us, um, you know, make it more more uh, more interesting for the viewers, something that they actually want to uh, a game that they want to see broadcasted. Um, and yeah, and also you can follow you can follow um, my partner Fall Caliber on Twitter, um, same as his uh, PSN. So just look him up. You can follow me too. Mine's it's Galley Eleven, um, but it's two eyes, two capital eyes, instead of the L's in Galley because that's what was available on Twitter. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I guess that's, that's going to be it for another day. week. Um, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed it.